Hi, so uh, we are going to go ahead and take a look at um, using a CSV file to ingest data into our program. So, so a CSV file is a common limited file. Usually you're familiar with it from, uh, say, um, uh, Excel. Okay, so let's go take a look here. We're gonna we're gonna need two things. We're, first, we're gonna need a library for that will process uh, CSV files, and then we're gonna need some CSV sample data. Okay, so let's go get both of those things. Okay, so the first thing that okay, so the the sample data we're gonna get is gonna be um. Uh, going to be age versus uh, stature. So um, uh, from uh, the government, stature, age, uh, and that's going to be stature, age data. It's going to be growth charts, right? Okay. And we want a CSV, so we're going to put in a CSV into Google as well. Stature, age, C age CSV. Okay, we clicked on the first title there. And we're actually going to go down to the stat age. Uh, it says... Uh, XLS, that's Excel, and then SatAge CSV here. So let's go ahead and get that. We're going to save the file. Now to find the, now what we need to do with the file is we have to go ahead and put that into our project. And we need to put it at a very particular location. Okay, so we have our download here. We have our stat.age CSV. Uh, let's go ahead and clean out some of these uh, downloads just so you can see. Okay, so we got our stat.age CSV. We're going to copy that, and we're actually going to go into our project. So we have our project file um, here. So in, inside project one, notice I've already pasted a version of it here. So if I get rid of the old one, I'm just going to paste it right into this project one file, and that'll be important later. So we go ahead and paste in there. So we got our sample data. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at it. Okay, when you open up a CSV file into your, uh, into your Excel or, or OpenOffice, you're going to notice that mainly you're going to have to choose this uh, delimiter, right? So a separated by comma. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. And it should come right in and we should see a nice, uh, a nice spreadsheet full of data here. So, so basically we have, our, uh, we have sex, age and months. We have LMS. Okay. And then we have P3, 5, P10, P25, 50, 75, 90, and 95. So those are percentile ranges, right? So notice that the, you know, P3, that's 0 to 3 percentile, is, is this height, right? And then the 97th to 100 percentile is this height. They're calling it stature, right? But it's, it's height. So, or length, if they're a baby. Okay, so um, so basically this is a chart of age in months versus how tall uh, the population is. Okay, so this is telling us that the 0 through 3rd percentile were 79.9 and the 97th through 100 percentile were 93. Uh, were 93. Okay, alright, and let's go back and take a look. So, uh, So this is showing us stature for age charts, 2 to 20 years, LMS parameters, and selected smooth stature percentiles in centimeters by sex and age. So those, those uh, values are in centimeters. Okay, so we have our data. Now we're going to go ahead and go get our library. So uh, I've already researched this. It's OpenCSV. So we're going to go ahead and go download OpenCSV. Notice I just searched OpenCSV in Google. I got OpenCSV. Okay, I can click Download OpenCSV. That's going to take me straight to SourceForge. I'm going to click Download. And we're going to go ahead and do the same process that we did uh, before uh, when we used XCharts. So we're going to go ahead and review that process. So I download my JAR file. Okay, and we're going to actually go back in, in our browser and get back to the OpenCSV uh, homepage. we got our OpenCSV homepage here. Okay, we've downloaded our JAR file from... Uh, from, uh, in this case, OpenCSV is hosting their JAR file at SourceForge. SourceForge is, uh, is uh, basically a, a place where people keep open source software. So SourceForge, GitHub, Bitbucket, all those places are a lot where people keep open source software. 
Okay, so we got our jar. Now we're going to go ahead and find some um, some uh, some sample code. Okay, so we have reading and writing. How do I read or parse a CSV file? It's right here on the first the home page. Okay, so we're going to use this sample right here. So we're going to read it in all in one big clump. Okay. All right. So uh, so let's go ahead and move our jar first. Okay. So let's go back to our folder. I can click the back button to get back to downloads. I'm going to copy my jar. Right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my project folder. Okay. And remember, we're going to put it in our lib. Right click and paste. Okay. And now we have we're going to go ahead over to Eclipse. I'm going to go to lib right click on lib uh, we're going to right click on lib and we're going to click uh, refresh okay and then we're going to right click on open csv and we're going to go to build path and click add the build path okay so we have our open csv uh, in our reference libraries right now remember we like to go ahead and make a sample um, sample code okay so just to make sure everything's working so we're gonna go ahead and do new class and notice I'm in my sample uh, sample package here so we're gonna go new class and we're gonna put sample sample open CSV and we're gonna ask it to make our main uh, uh, method we're gonna click finished okay and then we're going to go ahead and we're just going to paste right in our sample code. So we've got our sample open CSV. Let's go ahead in and uh, paste in our sample code. So remember, we're now on the open CSV homepage. We go up, we get our sample code. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use this one. Okay, we're going to hit enter and then control V. Okay, and remember that our CSV file is named stat age. Okay stat age right okay now we have a bunch of errors here right so so let's go ahead and, and and move over these errors so these types cannot be resolved right okay so we're gonna go ahead and import file reader from Java IO we're gonna import list from Java utility and we're gonna import uh, CSV reader from this is the if you open up open CSV over here, you'll see that's the package name, right? Okay, um, the one thing I wanna change on these um, imports is I wanna go ahead and just import everything from Java IO. This is just gonna help us later on. Okay, so notice that once we do this, um, uh, once we do this, you'll notice that we, uh, we still have some errors here, right? Okay, and let's take a look at that error. So unhandled exception type file not found. So, so this is a case where it's not that anything is wrong in our code here, it's just that we haven't handled any exceptions. Okay, so that's something that we need to do. Okay, so, so and how I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna add these keywords up to the top. In my, in my method definition, I'm just gonna put pros exception. spell it correctly okay so the other thing that I'm gonna do here is notice that it says my you know that uh, my reader is never closed so I'm gonna go ahead and put reader dot close just because that's something that we want to do um, okay okay the other thing Okay, so that is where I'm going to stop for now. Okay, so we're, we made our sample open CSV. Let's just go ahead and see if it runs here. Okay, so it does run. Okay, so I think that that's okay for our sample. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create our actual, you know, our file. All right, and we're going to use this sample to start out with. So we're going to go right click new. We're going to go class and we're going to put CSV loop. Okay, and we're going to click finish, do our public static void, 
Okay, and we're basically just gonna we're gonna start from where we left off. So we're just gonna copy all of our code out of our sample. We're gonna paste it in. Okay, and we're gonna start to fix a couple of things. You know, we have to fix our public class name to, to CSV loop. Okay, and our package of course is hello. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and save it. The first thing that we're gonna do is notice this suggestion right here. So the, the lo value of the local variable my enters is not used. And notice it says list is raw type reference to generic type list E should have parameterization. So we're gonna go ahead and add a parameter here. And so we're gonna say um, that it's a list of strings. Okay. Okay. okay, so now it's a list of strings. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna create our for loop. Okay, so for, okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go, we're gonna say for, and then each one of these items. So we're going to loop through each one of these lines. And you'll notice in our CSV file that each line is going to be an array. Okay. So we're going to put, we're going to say that each one, so we're going to call this, um, you, you know, we called this my entries. So we're going to call this entry in my entries. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and complete, whoops, we're going to go ahead and complete our loop here. Okay, and we're just going to say print. So we're going to do system. Out. Okay, system out. And then print ln. Not our, out. Print ln. And we're going to say entry to string. Okay. All right. So that is our code. So let's go ahead and just try to run it here. Okay. So notice that we are loading our file just fine. We're, we're looping through our entries, right? Uh, and uh, we have, we've gone ahead and we print out every, every entry, but we don't have the output that we want quite just yet. Okay, so we got our output, but was, it wasn't exactly what we wanted to see. So, um, so it wasn't exactly what we wanted to see. So, uh, so what we have to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to import another of the Java util uh, pieces of software, right? So, and in this case, we're going to do arrays. Okay, so, so basically, it's it's going to allow us to. This is the software that's going to help give us a bunch of utilities to work with arrays. And in our case, this entry is a string array. So, uh, rather than just do entry to string. Okay, we are going to do arrays to string. Okay, let's see what that does. Okay, and that gives us our nice output. Okay, so that is it. So we have ingested a CSV file, looped through that CSV file, and in this case, printed the contents of the CSV file uh, out to uh, standard out, okay, or system out. Okay, good luck.